Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Good morning, God bless you. I welcome you into Thursday morning, the 28th day of December 2023. Three more days for this year to go. I pray for you, accident will not end your life. Gunshot, stray bullet kidnapping, evil vices, spiritual attack, demonic call-out, satanic summonings will not end your life today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, in the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, we see the end of this year in good health and in vitality, free of all forms of bad news and evil report in the precious name of Jesus. This morning, I'll be looking at the last part of Romans chapter 8 and verse number 1. Speaking about condemnation again in verse 1 of chapter 8, the Bible says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. And by the grace of God, we've looked into condemnation in three different parts. And tonight, I was speaking about the fourth one. And in fact, the fourth one is the most dangerous. The first one is the one that brings a lot of concerns. Why? Because from the other four three that I raised, there is a way out. Hallelujah. You can decide not to go into But this last one, the moment it's pronounced on that individual, it is better that you weren't born than for such a man or a woman to be pronounced with that level of condemnation. Again, don't forget, we spoke about self-condemnation, talked about external condemnation. The other day I spoke about, you know, demonic or satanic condemnation. And the last one I want to talk about this morning is what we call divine condemnation. Hallelujah, which is the one that God himself pronounces on an individual. But please understand that it's every other level of condemnation. They can come to you at an instant. Huh? They can come at an instant. You can, you can offend someone or you cannot even offend someone. The moment they just get jealous or angry about you, they condemn you, they spoke ill about you, they pronounce a curse on you. And the same thing for the devil and the same thing for some people. But God will not be quick to condemn. Why? Because of the atoning um, uh, power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that the, the, the patience of God towards us, why he withheld his rod of condemnation, is that we give room and opportunity for people to repent and turn away from the way, the pathway, the channel that will bring such condemnation upon his life. Somebody might want to ask, but what is this divine condemnation? Every other condemnation is considered zero in the face of this divine condemnation. When a man condemns himself, it's a result of things not working out in your life. And by God's grace, when things turn around, there are people that have wished they died. And two years after, God turned their life around. And they are the first to say, I shall not die but live to declare God's glory. That is human beings. There are people that condemn you today. And tomorrow when God changes your level, they will be the one that will join you to celebrate. That's what is happening in life. Number three, the devil can condemn you today. You can stand against the wise of the devil. But once God says you are condemned, you are doomed forever. And so far you are living on this earth, God cannot condemn you. The only one and only condemnation that awaits any man is when you pass away from this life without accepting Jesus and you died in your sin. Beloved, that is the worst and the eternal damnation. So this morning, again, it doesn't matter what else you go through in life. <laughs> in the face of that one, it's not condemnation. In the face of divine condemnation, self-condemnation is nothing. In the face of divine condemnation, <laughs> external condemnation is nothing. In the face of divine or eternal condemnation, demonic condemnation is nothing. Because you can find a way around it. But once God says man is condemned, that is due forever. It can only happen when you hear one voice. One voice with a line of statement. Depart from me. I know you not. You walk us of iniquity. That is the only time that a man will receive that condemnation from God. And once that happens, that man is doomed forever. 
But this morning, why will you allow yourself to go that and to that eternal doom when there's a way out for you? There's a way out for you. And what is the way? It's right here. He said, you will not go into that eternal condemnation or doom if you are in Christ and you walk by the Spirit of Christ. What does that mean? It means you accept Jesus into your life as Lord and Savior and you allow the Spirit of Jesus to rule your life. And when the Spirit of Jesus rules your life, which is the Holy Spirit, it will ensure that you do not commit any sin willfully and you do not enjoy the pleasure of sin for one bit. And that's why sometimes you see yourself, you will lie, you feel restless until you tell the truth. You see yourself, you get angry, you feel yourself restless until you reconcile. So say you see yourself, you said some certain things, you will not be at peace or you go back and apologize. Why? Because the spirit of Jesus is in you that will not allow you to willfully and willingly go to hell. Beloved, that's the only gift God has given to you and I to escape that eternal damnation, accepting Jesus. Are you in Christ today? Is the spirit of Christ ruling your life? As you go out today, let the Spirit of Christ rule your life indeed. Because believe it or not, people are born every day and people die every day. We can pray, I shall not die from now till tomorrow. But among the people that will pray that prayer, some people will still go today. So live your life as if it is the last day you have on earth. Living for Christ and ruled by the Spirit of Christ. You are blessed. You are favored. God's face shine on you. God be gracious and be merciful. Give me the grace to heed to this word and to the needful. I cover your goodness and come in with the blood of Jesus. You will find peace with God and man. You are blessed and highly favored. In Jesus' name, Amen.